Getting us tipped off. Fifth and final game of the day. It's been a jam-packed day of great games. We got a good one here to end us off. Nice steal, Pharaoh Nation. Nice finish. So for RNS, obviously led by their guards, Pharaoh Nation and Titus Heron. And then wing forward, John Ipodikin, number nine. And then they got Greg Dorsey in the middle. And then random him out in the lineup is Wasserman. Nice defense here by Arnes. Ridley force up a tough one. Shot clock violation. Nice defense in the half court there. You know, it's uh, Ridley's senior night here, so they're electing to go with their senior lineup here. I'm sure Caleb Roberts, Quinton Ethier, and Kellum Smith will all be checking into the game shortly, but Got to give it up to the seniors here. They're deserving of that start. And I uh, want to give a shout out, actually, to the RNS parents for providing us here, the NPA North Pole Hoops team, with a $25 uh, Tim Hortons gift card. Very thoughtful gesture from them. That'll definitely fuel our coffee and Tim Bits to help us, you know, keep going for this full weekend of hoops. But shout out to them. Wanted to say that because I know they're always tuned in on the live stream all the way in New Brunswick. So shout out to them. Absolutely, we appreciate you guys over there in New Brunswick. Thank yep. you for that. Here's Farrell. Shot clock winding down here. Titus. Titus. Thought he lifted the pivot. Caleb Roberts now in the game. 2026 20, point guard that set the NPA on fire this year. Here's a tray ball, strong. Dorsey gets it to Titus. Titus sees John on the wing, traveling. Nice shot off the glass by Wasserman. I guess the bank is open on a Thursday evening in St. Catharines, at least. And off to Roberts. 
Collison with the left, no good. Here's John at Potikin. Dorsey, another bank shot for RNS here. If it works, it works. Two points is two points. And they're up six to three on the Ridley Tigers, the home team. Roberts, no oh good. Oh, snatch back by Titus, no oh good. Here's Caleb Roberts. Loader, good. Yeah. So effective. John, handoff to Rainer Glenn. Spin. Tangled Great up. defense yep. there by Ridley. Spin. Spin, float, no good. A good finish, Ridley College. Number three, leave Owen. Rainer Glenn at the line. Misses. Packed gym here, as expected. You know, a lot of the students and the staff and the community here for Ridley College have come out to support their Tigers. Ethier for three. Oh. Great hit. Quentin Ethier, 2026. 20, Shooter. That's what he does best. Running out 
Alley-oop, Dorsey. Good finished by Dorsey. Nice pass from John. And John, just a prospect that I love watching, love seeing, you know, just can do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Has, the deep, has the length and the size, you know, guard one through five, basically. For and sure. Offensively, his level. offensive game is developing. Charge. There he is right on cue, taking a charge. He's a player that's got the freakish athleticism to, and a lot of players that are that athletic usually try to jump for everything, try to block everything, but he's, you know, stood there, took the hit, drew the charge. Like to see that, so timeout. Gonna take a break, 324 left to go in the first. Back here, Ridley College. Game five of day one here in the NPA Championships. Block. Quinton walks into a three. Off. Rainer Glenn pushing. Pass intended for John was picked off. Roberts puts it up. No good. Two free throws loading for Roberts. off the high screen. Gets it to Dorsey inside. Kick out.
Nice defense by Quinton. Caleb, Good nice finish. finish. Shot Oscar Howe. Got his feet set. Yeah. And once they were set, he knew his money. Pass inside, swing. Rainer Glenn, three balls, no good. Ridley. Pushing now, transition. Ooh. Good Euro lay. Okay. Let's see you, big man. Tigers are up early. 19 9, first quarter. Drive to the rim, no good, shot rejected. Back to Rainer Glenn, floats it off the glass. Roberts now with the ball left wing. Swings it. Hot potato at the top of the key there. the aggression from Quinton so far in this game. Playing some really nice defense on the other end. That time we saw him fight for the offensive rebound. Quinton again, aggressive take. first quarter from the home team. Looking to make it a double digit lead early. Yep, Quinton hits them both. Give Quinton five points. Caleb Roberts got six leading them. RNS, Faro Nation, nice bounce pass. Reverse finish, no good. Foul call though. quarter here shot goes up too strong that'll do it for the first quarter 21 to 11 lead for Ridley be back with the second Where you 
back second quarter action Ridley with the lead 21 to 11 let's see how RNS responds nice pass Now pushing John to his left. Traveling. Good deal. Yeah, good way to slowly chip away into this lead is creating some easy transition opportunities, attacking the rim, getting to the line. Griffin trying to go to work on Titus. Left hand off glass off the is glass. good. What's with the, the no. bank's been open I know, for right? a lot of people today. Some late night banking here at Ridley College. Boom. Tray ball. Titus Heron can really fill it up in a hurry if he gets heated up. Caleb, and one.
Just a pit bull, man. One of those guards that you just got to throw height at the window. Yeah. You know, because he just does so many things at a high level, high level. We're talking about elite level scoring, elite level playmaking, elite level guard defender, elite level intangibles. You know, when I'm talking about IQ, leadership, the ability to run this team as a junior. So he's been instrumental for them, and he will be if they want to make a deep playoff run. Winner of this, get this, walking into, I don't want to say walking into a bus stop, but you're playing 4D Red. You know, we are all aware of the talent they've got. Multiple Division I players on the same team. I've heard some people say they're the most talented prep team in Canadian prep history. And if you said that, you know, you, you could very well be right, you know? Because look at the Division I players. Some have committed, some are 2025s. You know, obviously we don't want, we don't want to make this broadcast about them, but Yishan Charma going to Virginia, Felix Caceres going to Colorado, Oliver Faubert going to Wyoming, Buff uh, Braden Jackson going to Buffalo. And then their 25s, Chris Kumu, Mariela Kuntog, Jihad El Khatib, Char Ye. You know, they're just so stacked and I probably might have missed a player or two. But winner of this game will play them. John Ed Podikin with a nice baseline slam. They're going to tee him up for it. I don't like it. I don't like that one. I don't Joe. like that. I'll leave, I mean, because it wasn't even excessive. It wasn't excessive. You got to give a player the opportunity to land. It was exactly. obviously a crowded, painted area there, and he just got to. You got to let the player land, man. You're not going to land when you're swinging forward. I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to. I've said enough. Ref's talking to him about it right now. He's trying to plead his case. Quinton Ethier shoots the technical free throw for Ridley. Caleb Roberts. Oh. Catch and shoot. Off the dribble, you name it. Caleb Roberts can do it all. He can do it all. And he brings a different type of swagger to this really college team. Yeah. Definitely one of the best point guards, regardless of class. You know, obviously he's a 2026. And that class has got some pretty solid guards. You know, Kamai Samuel, very excellent point guard in that class. But he's up there with some of the elite overall because actually play, it's a difference between being or, or I guess running point guard on your team and actually being able to play that position at a high level, yeah. which not a lot of guys can do. You know, you see a lot of quote-unquote point guards who by nature are scoring guards, which is fine. But the most elite guards can score, but look to set the pace first. They look to set everybody up. And then if they need to take over, they can. And they've got to be able to defend, and they've got to be able to lead. So I think point guard is not a dying breed, but definitely a rarity, you know, in this day and age of scoring and what have you. I mean, some people are starting to call Stephen Curry the best point guard of all time, but by nature, he's a scoring guard. So everyone's starting to, you know, follow that trend. Yeah. Scoring, a lot of threes, a lot of fast pace. That's just how the game is today. But there's always room for a floor general pass first point guard. You know, some Canada, some guys in Canada that I think of, obviously, are Caleb Roberts. Um, Rocco Awad, I think, uh, for LBA, does a good job just of playing with a high IQ, setting guys up. Justice Hazley is excellent for Royal Crown. He's definitely up there. I think point guards and true centers slash true bigs are just rare overall Dying in the game three. today. Another three ball here. Ridley extending their lead to 15. 35-20. Just under seven minutes left to go in this first half. Rainer Glenn ball at the top of the key. Spin, 
Puts it up, no good. John on the rebound, gets fouled underneath. He's gonna earn himself two free throws at the line. Podikin at the line. It's the first. It's the second. Step, John, no good on the first attempt. Eleven point game. A lot of basketball left to be played. Five fifty left to go in the second. I think it's all about closing out this quarter strong. I mean for either team looking to gain control. Good finish. Timeout break, 5.41 left to go in the second. We'll be right back. And we're back, second quarter action. 5.41 left to go in this first half. Ridley Tigers up 37-24. For RNS, I feel like we gotta see the guard duo yeah. uh, turn up. They gotta, they gotta bring some energy. Yeah, Titus and Farrell. We know they like that transition three ball. They like to get to the rim a little bit. Both fearless attacking. 
free throw. I think if they get to the line, get a free throw or two under their belt, they'll get a little bit of a rhythm. And then they'll start to feel that jump shot a little bit more and yeah. get back to it. We've seen them both have big games throughout the season. Obviously, the big one was their win against Royal Crown early in the first session, where both Pharaoh and Titus were automatic. Good finish inside. Dorsey, another key contributor for this RNS team. You know, he's had a quiet yeah. first half. Let's see what he could do in the second half. If he can change things around a little bit. Still active though, defensively and offensively. Quinton. Sharp shooter. You gotta follow him, you gotta chase him, whatever you gotta do. Oh, hard foul. Quinton, nice take. Like what I'm seeing from him this game. This might be his best NPA game of the season so far. And what better day to have it on the playoffs. But he's been super aggressive. Hitting his threes, playing D. Rainer Glenn with the floater, no good. 15 point lead for Ridley. Nice head pass. William Robinson with the assist. And they're rolling, 17 point lead for Ridley. He was actually here the last time these two teams played and remember it came down to a game winner for Ridley. So that game was close. Free throw good. 44-28. You're the coach for RNS going into this uh, halftime. What are you telling your team and what do you think that the focus of the topic of focus should be? Um, I think offensively you gotta look to get it inside more. So more post touches to guys like Greg Dorsey, allowing him to either go to work or just opening up things for their shooters, I think that would make life easier for Titus and Farrow, as opposed to them trying to hunt or, or force their offense. You can have it a little more naturally by playing off the ball. Nice shot there by Podikin, as the timeout is called. But I think that's a, a big key for RNS. I mean, they just cut it to 12, but let's see how they end this half. 3.26 left to go. Try me a hundred times.
Second quarter action here, NPA Championship Weekend. Ridley up by 12. Good backdoor cut. Three ball, no good. Dorsey with the rebound. Farrell on the attack. Float, good, off the glass. 10 point game. Here you go, if you're RNS, you have a chance to cut it to single digits. Three, under three minutes left to go. There you go, John Hitt Podikin. Hey! I'm upset, the ref walked in front of my face as he dunked it. What did he do, <laughs> two hand, windmill? <laughs> I'm sure I'll see the replay, but that's what he does at such a high level is playing the passing lanes with his length, quick reflexes, able to get it out. Probably took two dribbles in the, at the rim. John Nipotikin, 2025 prospect that I've been telling most of the coaches in the gym about him. Hey, you might not know about him now, but I promise you by next year you will. He's going to be playing with you play this summer, so big opportunity on the biggest stage, really you know, playing in the EYBL. It's the biggest stage in grassroots basketball, you yeah. know? So playing with guys like Will Riley, Mario Lacoon talk. We were just talking with Nor Warris Najoya before this game. He said he's going to be playing Uplay as well. So that team's going to be stacked. Started. Definitely going to have to get out there to check him out. But for John, I think it's just putting it together in terms of like tighter handle, you know, better understanding of positioning, just the IQ stuff. But he has all the measurables, all the physicals are there. Now you just got to put it together, and, and that's up to him. So now we got Dorsey at the line, looking to make it a single-digit game. You got the Ridley home crowd right now, <laughs> you know, trying to throw off the free throw shooters. And it's part of the game. You know, there's, the game, there's fans yeah. everywhere. You got, if you want to play at the next level, you got to get used to it. I'll never get upset at it. Good focus there by Greg Dorsey. Knocked him down. Both. And over here by Ridley. Arnest slowly, possession by possession, has chipped away at this lead. Down to eight right now. Can they cut it to six on this possession? Inside post touch to Dorsey. Like we talked about. Get the ball to Dorsey in the post and let him work. If they guard him one-on-one, -on -one, he's scoring. If they double, kicking out to the shooters. Roberts, Ethier, Trey Ball, strong. Nice hustle, no good on the bunny. Oscar, fourth chance. Is what it took, and if you're Coach Damien Gay for RNS, he must be fuming with how many offensive boards they just gave up. Here's Ridley. They get it back. Pull up jumper by Glenn, no good. Roberts, coast to coast. So quick with the ball in his hands. A maestro. Rejects the screen. Oh, blows by him. Floater, no good. Here's RNS. Chance to make it a two possession game deep, three by Titus, no good. RNS with the offensive rebound though. John down low. Hey! Yep, they knew not to jump. Six point game. Last shot here for Ridley.
Foul on the floor. Bonus situation. Sends Caleb Roberts for Ridley at the line. Tough time to foul, other teams in the bonus. You know, you've done a pretty good job to end this quarter, trying to chip away. Made it a two possession game. Now, Caleb trying to push it back to eight and he does. Substitutions left, 6.3 left to go in the second quarter. Ridley up by eight. Stands are full with majority Ridley fans here at Ridley College. RNS. Looking for the upset in this one to advance to the next round of the playoffs. Rainer Glenn gets it up. Ah, he should have went to the rim. He did a good job of uh, keeping his dribble alive, beating his first man, but he overthought it. That'll do it for the first half. Uh, eight point game for Ridley. Be back for the second. It's your boy Scotty Barr. Oh, Madness Uprising Basketball is back, and we're ready to take over the NBA 2K League. Season 7 has some new faces and familiar vets. Get ready, it's game time. I'll see you all in the park. Go Raps! Hoops Blueprint is a multi-layered platform designed to provide maximum exposure and growth opportunities for Canadian basketball at all levels, starting with grade five students all the way to the NBA. The foundation of the Blueprint begins with our strategic partners, the Playground Global, who provide world-class basketball facility access for Canadian basketball programming nationwide. The NPH Showcase League is an introduction to our ecosystem an exposure platform for club programs all across Canada to experience a competitive, developmental, and positive environment. All year round, this league reaches the players, coaches, parents, and the Canadian basketball community at large. This provides a great opportunity for sponsors to tap into a rapidly growing market and demographic within the high volume of foot traffic. The MPH Showcase Camp is our identification platform focusing on finding the hidden basketball talent Canada has to offer and guiding them to that next level. As a camper, you will have the opportunity to enter the NPH National Rankings, where player profiles are created, acting as an online resume. This database is directly connected to a network of over 150 prep and post-secondary programs. By attending our camps, you will maximize on scholarship opportunities, perform in front of national scouts, and get a chance to learn from NBA experienced skill trainers. The Game Speaks Combine acts as the elite, invitational-only camp that provides every player an opportunity to measure their talent up against the best prospects in Canada. A two-day event of skill testing, pro-level drills, and NBA-style combine with the ultimate goal of securing scholarships. Top performers raise their stock and are now elevated on a national scale to strengthen their recruitment opportunities. 
Canadian National Invitational Tournament in July brings a team-focused evaluation platform. Since 2015, the CNIT brings over 100 top-tier club programs from around the world to compete for the national crown. The CNIT is Canada's only NCAA certified tournament that takes place during a live period where NCAA coaches are eligible to recruit prospects in person. At this stage, North Pole Hoops has identified Canada's top basketball prospects from coast to coast, placing them at programs within the Canadian basketball ecosystem and the elite level MPH League, the National Preparatory Association. Founded in 2016, this league is at the top of our internal programming and quickly emerging as a global destination for the world's elite basketball prospects. Involving strategic prep programs nationwide, the NPA prides itself on delivering a national platform to showcase the different playing styles, characteristics, and unique talent each province has to offer. All North Pole Hoops sanctioned events include exposure services that help propel and aid players on their recruitment mission. From individual player mixtapes that showcase the unique characteristics of that athlete to our mentorship program, which helps families navigate within the basketball landscape and connect players to prep and post-secondary coaches. Using the intel gathered after identifying the top prospects within our ecosystem, MPH provides a bridge in the form of a scouting service for post-secondary programs looking to recruit. Since 2011, North America's top universities rely on MPH's highly experienced national and regional scouts for intel on prospects on and off the court. Outside of America, Canada is the number one producer of talent in the world, with over 20 Canadians in the NBA. MPH CEO Tarek Sabate is exploring the global market and building relationships to offer the MPH scouting service to professional basketball teams and leagues worldwide. Finally, utilizing the NPH exposure arm comprised of digital marketing and live broadcasting, NPH acts as its own media and marketing partner for all of our entities below. With over 75,000 subscribers between Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, NPH is able to reach and influence over 15 million accounts on an annual basis, conveying the message of Canadian basketball and providing a direct platform for our strategic partners to excel in this industry. Climb the ladder to the next level by joining the North Pole Hoops family and enter the Blueprint. The North Pole Hoops Blueprint is a multi-layered platform designed to provide maximum exposure and growth opportunities. Yeah. 
really, really talk to me. Everything you do is cool. It's kind of unbelievable. It's all so unachievable. Yeah, almost inconceivable. I'll never do it like you do. Thinking somebody will see me and no, don't get me wrong, really want everybody to succeed. But can you start with me? Like, why was it hurting my me? Why was it hurting my me? For someone could read just like me, but not have a style to find me. Why was it hurting on me? Why was it hurting on me? And we just gonna blind me. Why was it hurting on me? All right, we're back here for the second half. Final game of the day, 50 to 42. Ridley in the lead. See if they can build on it or if RNS can come back. Boom, Titus. Too. Talked about his shot making ability, if he's got it going. RNS is a threat. to Dorsey. Soft touch. Shoot or shoot. Lead back up to 10. Can't keep trading buckets. You know, RNS has to string together some stops. Did such a great job ending that first half off and cutting the lead down.
Oh, hand down, man down. I mean, they had a hand up, actually. Still got it to go. He still hit it. Quinton Ethier. And that's the intrigue behind 2026. Caleb Ethier, when his shot is falling, he's a weapon. You know, great size for position at about 6'5", six, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, shooting guard. Um, and he's been defending his tail off today, too. So 3 and D is always in demand at the next level. But he's still got a couple more years to continue to develop his game and work on an in-between game, work on the handle. You know, if he's able to start creating space in the mid-range and creating offense like a Caleb Roberts, then he can be, he can be excellent. Already has an offer from Albany. Division one offer in 2026. Quinton might be one of the few guys that have an offer in that class. I know Kamai Samuel, offer from Arizona State. Um, obviously Arafan Diane, Miles Sadler, some of the top guys at that class too, but Quinton definitely uh, named the monitor. Nice pass, Dorsey. Eleven point game, six fifty three. Oh, good. Nice rebound. Final game, we got six games tomorrow, tipping off at 10.30 a.m. And then we'll be here till 10.30 p.m. Um, long day, long, <laughs> long day ahead of us. Long weekend of hoops, but it's the national championships. Oh, Quinton. Sheesh, made him touch earth. We were just talking about, you know, if he were to de develop a handle, and he pulls that out of the bag. Would have been nice if he, you know, just pulled up on it and sunk yeah. it. But oh, that would have been a sweet highlight play. Yeah. 60 to 49 for Ridley. Lighting it up from downtown in this game. Got a few threes. And Ridley's making it rain. Quinton. Ooh, if that went in. It's making it rain right now. Titus looking to respond. Tough. And it's tough. They just yeah. can't get a rhythm right now. Can't get to the free throw line. The shot's not falling. Walks into it. And they're looking Nash like they to talk it over. They need a timeout as Ridley's running away with wow. this one. 66-49. 444 left to go in this third quarter, and we'll be right back after the short break.
444 on the clock 66 49 lead for Ridley they've been in the driver's seat the whole game making it rain from downtown looking like the Golden State Warriors Nice pressure. Nineteen points for Quinton Ethier to lead Ridley. Another one. Wow. They can't miss. And it's been a battle, you know, Dorsey's been fighting and battling just to get position and he's getting the calls. RNS really trying to establish Dorsey and establish him on the interior. He's going to get an opportunity for two free throws here. Dorsey inside, no good on the first attempt. Ridley comes away with the rebound. Spin, move, left. Tough. Good finish. Ridley extending that lead. Oscar, another three. No oh, good. Barrel, foul. Sorry, no, no call. 
out of bounds. Good pass to John on the inside. They're getting looks around the rim. They keep getting opportunities at the free throw line. They just need to string together some stops. Yep, only down 15. Whole quarter of basketball left to play. Can't stop now. Winner go home. RNS has got to leave it all on the floor. They're looking to do that. Chipping away. Minute 30 left in the third. No good. Got to hit the free throws. Decisions with the ball. Find drive, charge, way to get to the spot. Coming to an end, Roberts splits the screen. Can't finish, back up and in. 75-59 lead for Ridley. Going into the fourth quarter, let's see if RNS can make it count in this final quarter. Could potentially be the final quarter of the season. Let's see.
All right, Ridley College, our hosts here for the NPA championships. The home team is up 16, fourth quarter action, getting going. Quinton Ethier for three, no good. Twenty point lead for Ridley. Final game of the day. Tomorrow's a full slate. Starting with two consolation games. And then tomorrow at 2.30 is when things start to get interesting. That's when we'll start seeing the quarters start off. We'll see CSJV and Cali at 2.30. We'll see Polaris and Edge at 4.30. Fort Erie Red and the winner of this game at 6.30. And then 8.30 Royal Crown and Fort Erie. That'll be a good one. That's going to be a big game. Yeah. A lot of coaches and scouts are going to be there for that one. Yeah. And one, Greg Dorsey.
multiple chances on the offensive glass for RNS, or sorry, for Ridley. Backbreaker for RNS. They're down 16, seven and a half left. They're gonna need to go on a run and lock in on defense. Time out, 6.45 left to go. Six minutes, 40 seconds left to go in this one. RNS needs some late game heroics to come back in this. Ridley's played excellent game so far in this one. John and Podikin with the three.
5.54 on the clock. Caleb Roberts shooting free throws. First to two. It's good. Two for two from the line. Stems that lead back up to 17. Turnover. 5.09 left to go. 17 point game. Travel. Nice move. Quinton in the corner. Three balls too strong.
splits the defense floater. Surgical. One way to describe him. During the game, One man, of many. has really been just, you know, really the ability to put up points in a hurry. And RNS, they just haven't been able to string together consecutive stops. One forty one left to go in this fourth quarter, ninety five seventy six. The score here, Ridley Tigers up. And it looks like barring a big comeback by RNS. Yep. We have our matchup set for tomorrow. For Erie Red, get ready for Ridley, the home team. Man, they've had it going from outside all game. Everything has went their way. Lucky bounces, offensive rebounding. Looking to eclipse the century mark here. And I don't think another team scored 100 today. No. The highest is CSJV with 91. Offensive clinic here by the Ridley Tigers. Stolen here by Arnes. No one there to catch the pass. And he was expecting his the swing man to stay corner, but he ended up filling up top. That'll do it. RNS falls short to Ridley, who will move on to the next round. What a day of hoops here, first day NBA Championship weekend. That's a wrap. Catch you guys at day two tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. sharp. Break.